y'all, it's me, Ari Bell. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you are new, please subscribe. And don't forget, you're awesome as always. So we're going to do a month thing. I'm going to finish eating my pizza and also Vlogmas. So let me show y'all what's going on, okay? So this bike decided that it was going to act up today. Want to tell everybody what's going on? I'm sure to I'm not distracting you. I want you to explain to everybody. Oh my what's... god, yes, this is what you're doing. It's keeping my butt. It says, I don't want to go on. <laughs> so, yeah, it's being a pain. As always, just like how he is. What? <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> I beg your pardon. You I heard me. What? Uh, Hold up. I did what today? Oh. I heard that. Dear Lord, thank you for the suit. Hey, man. <laughs> oh, God, I wasn't going to think. See? See? Hey, you interrupted my prayers. Let me do that again. Dear Lord, thank you for the suit. Amen. So, sometimes I'm grateful for a hand. Other times I'm just like, I want to kick you in the butt. I just want to kick you in the butt. You know what I'm Okay, Beyonce. Beyonce! Beyonce! Shop of the burn. I'm so hot. You are hot. <laughs> that innocent cute smile. I love it. Alright. So I did a video explaining why I'm a little bit different because I had a channel since I was in high school and I have grown up, so people have watched me grow up and matured more. Hey, how are you? Nadila, what, Nadine, Nani? Did I say that right? I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, so sorry. How are you doing? Welcome to Vlogmas. His bike decided to act up today. I have all day. There's still not going on. Yeah, okay. Uh, Everyone mispronounced my name. They're like, Ari Bell, Ari Bell. Ari Bell, Ariel. <laughs> Ari Bell. <laughs> Like, where you see Bella in my name? I'm gonna go live every single day because it's Christmas. I know, I'm like, my name is whatever you want me to call. My name is whatever name you want to call me, so I'm good. Like, one of my friend's son has the hardest time. My godson son has the hardest time pronouncing my name, so he calls me Aunt Bell Bell. <laughs> mm. I Google my name. Nobody has my name except for me. They have a name either. Yes, they do. They just have different ways of spelling it. So you, somebody asked you. You're the one who told on yourself. I was telling my fans online. You I mean have friends? Fans. You know what? You have friends in low places. So I don't want to hear that. Ah. He's weird. Don't mind him. Oh. Oh, that is so cool. I'm in, I'm from the U.S., but um, everybody in school, can you have some time to talk? But... When I was in school, and people talked about me, I knew they talked about me, because I'm the only one named that. 
So, that's what I film. I film in Savannah, Georgia. I'm an actress. It's so pretty down there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you live in Georgia? That is so cool. We're practically neighbors. I live in South Carolina. I live right next to it. But I filmed there a lot. I already filmed probably like three or four movies there. So, um, but yeah. I'm planning on moving to Savannah, actually. Not now, but in the future, hopefully. I I like it here, but there's not much to do here. So I like Savannah a lot better, and plus I want to work on ghost tours there. Thank you. I love the ghost tours. And that's going to be my backup job. <laughs> my aunt actually works for them. So we get to go there a lot. But I love Savannah. It's like a second home. There's nothing to do here where I live at. The movie theater has shut down. There's no mall. There's no ghost tours. I mean, you can go ghost hunting at, at your own time. But it's like so far out. We literally have to go all the way out to Fort Fremont just to go ghost touring. Or to catch some ghosts by ourselves. weird stuff at the hotel too and I want to stay in one of the most haunted hotels in Savannah this would be my goal this year my friend told me here's a tip if you want to see ghosts do not go in October go either in December or November or towards the beginning of October because Everyone is going to want to go there to the point where there's going to be no room booked because everybody's trying to do like a special for Halloween. So she told me if you really want to see spirits, don't see spirits in, in October because it's never work. So you can see spirits like practically any time. So... If anybody's wondering, <laughs> that's my fiance, my very stupid fiance. Hey, you shut up, fiance. <laughs> he always, he always does like a stupid like howl every time when he sees like dog. Because I am a dog. Yeah, you are. <laughs> You're a stupid one at that. Shut up. <laughs> Such dumb butt room. Hey, he always calls me food names. Well, you'll be proud of me. I finally put my inner Tim tire on. <laughs> I hate you right now. <laughs> at least I'm a smart handyman. He thinks he's funny, but he's just stupidly funny. You're mean! <laughs> We've been together since high school. He was actually my first crush and my first boyfriend. And you are my first cookie. And girlfriend. I'm not a food. 
You're a sugar cookie. Everybody calls me cookie because of the freckles on my face. You're a sugar cookie. I gotta tell y'all. So I got a weird email, supposedly from Amazon, and this lady wanted me to sponsor her stuff. It was totally fake. Like, I was wondering how to stop my email. Because I never posted my email online, so. <laughs> my mom was like, you can't even speak English. <laughs> properly so and that's how you know to scan especially when the letter's not like professional wise grammar wise and I'm not good with grammar at all uh, and my cousin who's Spanish she's like yeah she definitely can't speak English very well so <laughs> and she was like cursing her out in Spanish and I was like yeah okay <laughs> so but uh um, But yeah, it was really funny, and, and I sent it to my acting coach, and he's like, that is definitely a scam. You do not want to go there. Like, you do not want to work with anybody, especially if you didn't give out your email and stuff. I was like, I know. That's why I sent it to y'all, because I thought I was going crazy. Like, how did you even get my number? Oh, I go to college there. I take acting classes there. Not in SCAD, but I like to say that I'm going to college, even though I'm not going to college. But I practically take acting classes by real actors and actors. So I like to say that I'm going to art college without actually going to college. It is. I wish that I can go to college, but I can't. There's, there's literally nothing here for me to do. So, like, you have to be up top-wise to do these kind of text jobs. There's two movies on my channel for the 48 Project film, um, called The Section and The Case. My first movie that I ever did, which was the first movie ever filmed in Savannah, was called Dear Dictator. It wasn't called Kulita, but they changed the name for some reason. And I played a scare student. Uh, I run into this girl who is played by Idea Rush. And there's Michael Caine and Katie Holmes. And I was like, Idea co-star. And it was my first audition ever, so I was pretty happy. I'm kind of like taking it back now and, and like slowly working my way up because I had met so many people doing extras by instead of getting like a couple of lines. So now I have like some projects lined up that they want me to do with actual lines. I have work in Alabama, uh, Bound to Code Exist, um, The Act, The uh, Four Girls, I play a pregnant teen mom. And then I did some drugs, so that was fun. <laughs> Not really, like, but, uh, yeah, it was fun working on all those projects, and I really love them. Um, I would have to say I really enjoyed acting classes because you never know who's going to be there, and you never know who you're going to meet. So 
It's a lot of fun. Uh, and I was also Delbert in the app, so that was a lot of fun as well. Um, my mom's like, damn, you're like the rebel. <laughs> I was like, I know. <laughs> so, and hopefully I get to work on Florida Girl Skin because that was a lot of fun. It was weird seeing me pregnant because I don't want to have any children. So it was really weird for me to see me pregnant. I am 25, but I play a lot younger on TV. So like all of, like everybody literally comments and asks me how old I am because I look and sound young. So, but yeah, I played like a 13 year old that was pregnant on the TV show. That was a lot of fun. It was kind of creepy seeing me that way, but I don't know. <laughs> so. I know, I look very young. <laughs> That's why I'm I mean, asking. You need know, five packages of balloons at the store. They don't, float, they don't blow up until you put air on them. And that's all a tube is. It's like a big balloon. Yeah. Now, I put a system. I'm going to get on there. I'm going to get on there. Mom, I'm on live. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come match your shirt. Huh? Come match your shirt. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, I know. Like, I have people who have come up to me from elementary school, and they're like, do you remember me? And I was like, no. And, and no, like, literally went to my house, and she's in middle school right now. And I cannot get stopped either by an elementary school teacher asking me why am I out in uniform, or... <laughs> by a principal at middle school that I used to go to. I went to the same middle school as her. They asked me why my out in uniform. Praise Jesus that the same people that have worked there since I was a kid recognized me and they were like, no, 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 she graduated high school like a long time ago and stuff. She's not, she's not a kid. So my friends were like dying of laughter as soon as I got sent to the principal office. That was my first time ever being sent to the principal office, actually. Uh-huh. Shut up! You get for me and bullying me. <laughs> I know. Like, everybody... And I have a baby face. Like, I have not... So many people on YouTube, like... Because I have been on YouTube since I was 16. When I have my old channel that I had since I was in high school. Um, so, if y'all want to go check it out, I'll share on my community tab. Um, but yeah, I had that channel since I was, like, really young, and I could tell the difference between how my voice is different now between then, because back then, I, my speech was really bad, but now my speech has gotten a lot better at pronouncing, pr pronouncing, <laughs> and so a lot of people were like, oh, you sound different, you look different, you... You, like, matured a little bit, but you still look like a kid. And I was like, yeah, I know. So I think that's why, like, YouTube is deleting my comments. I mean, like, disabling my comments because they think that I'm a kid, but I'm not. I'm 25. So, and it's very frustrating. So it's like, now I have to disable the, the dislikes and likes. So that way I can get comments. So, which I'm perfectly fine with that and stuff. But it's just like really frustrating to me. But you're right, I do take advantage of it. Oh no, I take advantage of it. Like, I'm an actress. It's like, at first, it needs to get on my nerves the way people will, like, oh, you're kid you can't do this and that or you can't have a drink because you're a kid I don't drink alcohol anyways but um you can't do this and that and stuff where like when people ask me how old are you you look very young or they would talk down to me 
that that's what gets on my nerves right there especially after when i tell them how old i am and then like one of my ex friends used to call me kid all the time to really irritate me and stuff and she would fun of me in that way like that was before we were okay then but now we're not like friends not because of that but because of this certain situation she wanted to date my abusive ex-boyfriend and she told me at the time, we broke up during high school. It had nothing to do with us. Um, well, you're very fortunate you look young because you play young characters and you don't that feel unique and special. It is, and like so many of my acting coaches told me, you can take advantage of it. So I'm like, I am. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to like start my own thing. Like I want to, I want to start script writing because I think that will be fun. Um, because my acting coach has told me I'm really good with coming up with stuff, so hopefully that will happen. But I absolutely love it. Let me try to post some things if I can. I don't know if I can because of the new rules, but yeah. That's the thing that, that irritates me about looking young, but at the same time, because of my career, I feel like that's a good thing. A lot of people think he almost he almost got beat up because a drunk guy thought that he was taking a minor. And they almost got into a fight until I dragged Sean in here because they they thought that he was a, he was dating a minor. So, yeah, and I was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I'm like, I'm an adult. I'm not a minor. What are you talking about? I'm like, do not lay your hands on my fiance. He's like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Like, crazy stuff like that has happened to me. I have gotten kicked out of, bar like, clubs, bars, and then I would get back in. But on the plus side, I get free stuff. So that's that's really good. So I like that a lot. But, uh, yeah, it is crazy. No, it doesn't. Because then, like, if I put makeup on, people will think I'm 13 or 14. And I don't really like wearing makeup because I just prefer this look more than, like, makeup look. And I'm actually not a makeup person. So, but I have tried that so many times. Like, even with my engagement ring that doesn't help, people still mistake me as a young, so much younger. Oh, so back to my abusive ex-boyfriend. So we broke up for two years. Had nothing to do with us. Uh, no. But I dated this guy for like two years. And, no, and he was abusive. Yeah, so not physically, just here. emotionally. And one of my so-called yeah. friends wanted to date him. But apparently the rules have to apply to her, but they don't apply to you. Yeah. Like you can't date her ex, but she can date your ex. I'm like, you literally threatened me. If I went back to him, then you would not be friends with me, and now you want to date him. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like looking young, so at first it really frustrated me. My mom looks young for her age. She had somebody my age hit on her at the bar. Yeah. Meanwhile, I get middle schoolers hitting on me. Yeah, Shut up! Nobody cares! You like your face. She's in, <laughs> she's in her 60s and she looks like she's 30. How old do you think I am? You're five! Shut up! Nobody asked you. <laughs> no, no, they, they say I'm 20 when I'm 24. <laughs> it's bad enough when they think that you're older than me. Shut up. I, I should be the one getting free stuff, not you, bird. I mean, you're older than him. <laughs> so. But yeah, I mean, you're older than him. No, you're really slow. I'm going to eat your pizza. Hi, Ray J. I hope I said that right. Yeah, I am 25. A lot of people think I'm a lot younger. Y'all should see the comments sometimes. Like, people will be fighting over my age. It's so funny. They're like, no, she's 14. She's 12. No, she's 10. No, 
he's 15. I'm like, my age is so bipolar. I don't even know how old I am. I'm kidding. I know how old I am. I'm 25. So, my fiance can tell you. <laughs> so, we've been Whoa. together for seven years. Whoa. You're going to get hurt Whoa. in like a few. Oh my god. The stupidity I have to put up with him. Hey, I just saved your life by not getting yelled at and doing my own bike, so I don't want to hear that. Does uh, getting kids menu count? Because my mom makes me get a kids menu every time when we go out. And sometimes it just gets handed to me. Like, it would just be me and him, or sometimes me, him, and my mama. And they would be like, kids menu. And I'm like, seriously? So I do take advantage of that happens all the time and there's people that I grew up with in school from elementary who doesn't even recognize me who still thinks I'm a child it will be like here you go kids menu my mom dies of laughter every time because she remembers them but they don't remember me so it was freaking hilarious shut up nobody cares about you or your opinion Never cares about Dave, are you going to eat your pizza? Yes. Because if you don't, I will. Eat your pizza. Mm hmm. Tell him that we. Why are you smacking so loud? You know that drives me nuts. If you don't stop smacking. And if you don't chew, he does not swallow his food. He inhales it. He's like. In, in Heller, so. <laughs> I wanna hold you hostage, you can't Oh, hear. one time I applied for a job interview and they hung up on me because they thought I was a kid. And then they called me back and told me that they were really sorry after when I came into the store to apply. <laughs> So yeah, that happens on top of that. He thinks it's funny. Do you have to smack in my ear? Are you okay? What, what? Yeah, my jaw is like popping. What does that mean? He is my fiance. We've been together for seven years. So he drives me nuts most of the time, especially when he has to see a dog and he has to oh. go. I'm done. If you don't want that crest, I'll take it. What? If you don't want that crest, I'll take it. Did you just throw it away? Hmm? Did you just throw away that crest? What crest? Or did you eat it? I ate it. Okay. That's it. He is. Like, all. I'm going to say. But, uh, every time when me and my mom are, like, talking, he's always like, are y'all talking trash about me? I mean, you do. You mind, but it's okay. I'm not sure what you mean by that. <laughs> oh, thank you. <clears throat> they do you know what that means? <sighs> what the? Wait, what? <laughs> Let me see your phone so I can Google it and see what it means. What phone? Your phone, Siri. I hate me. you right now. Mm -hmm. She's so mean to me. You see what I had to deal with over here? You see that, right? Bully. You give me that. I want to use that for my ranch. What ranch? Your ranch. Shut up. Nobody cares about your ranch. Nobody cares about your ranch. Nobody cares about what you have to care about. Shut How up. about that? You're mean. <laughs> We roast each other like 24 seven. So this is, uh, uh, not as bad as yours. Wrestler? 
Because I just looked it up. Are you saying my wrestling down? Are you eating my carrots? My carrots. Get off my carrots. Oh, he's a boxer. He loves boxing. Like, he, he loves to watch it. He loves wrestling. He loves football. You also hear the guys talking about football. It's freaking hilarious. And so wrong in so many ways of wrongness. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to slap you. I'm going to slap you. Okay. Stop judging me. Happy about it. <laughs> no, no kids. I have no kids. I did play pregnant teen mom in Florida girls. So, but no kids. Nope. All right. Yeah, look, um, well, I'll see you in the back there about to it did? Yeah, it really did. Yeah, Maria went to the one up there by her father. They went to the shopping center. But not the one by her house? No, Anna was the one by her house. We're talking no about wonder why there? I saw her in there. So are we going to the one by her house? <coughs> what about Rancho Grande? Is there he still open? Or did they close down too? Where's that one? Where's that one? That's the one by um Hardy's. Are they closed down too? Not Hardy's. Mm-hmm. No, that's not... No, his ego's gonna go away up yeah, because he's gonna no, think he's a boxer. Yeah. No, I'll so. box him. I guess he's gonna box him. Get off, you carrot face. Alright, now, now where are you at? Because we need to get on the road. Oh. <laughs> Alright, thank y'all so much for joining this vlogmas. Don't forget you're awesome, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye! Oh, why is we always dropping?